Welcome to the homework for Lesson 21. It's Grade 3, Module 2. Write your name here. There are 153 milliliters of juice in one carton. A three-pack of juice boxes contains a total of 459 milliliters. Estimate and then find the actual total amount of juice in one carton and in a three-pack of juice boxes. So, this is the juice in one carton, and this is the four juice boxes. So to estimate, that's about 153. That's about, we'll call that about 150 if we do it by tens. And the 459, that's about 460. And so those two together are about, if you use the digits here, you're going to have five hundreds, but the, you got five tens and six tens, that's eleven tens. So you're going to have another hundred and ten tens. That's going to be, give you six tens, six hundreds, I mean, and ten tens. So about six hundred milliliters. Now we're estimating and finding the actual difference for the same numbers. The difference between the two, not the total, which is what we did before. And uh, I, you know what, I just realized I messed up that first problem. Because we did the estimate first. That's our estimate. And this is actual, right? It's not one of those wavy equal signs. We have to find the actual total. So that's 9 and 3 is 12. There's another 10. And that makes 11 tens, which gives us another 100. 612. And now we're going to find the differences. So estimating again, we'll have the 400, we have the 460 which we came up with before, minus the 150. And here we can do, we can do the, you can use the digits to subtract here because we have enough tens. We have six tens and we're only taking away five. So we have enough tens to subtract. We don't have to unbundle anything or use the uh, vertical process. So we're going to have one ten left and three hundreds. About. And now the actual subtraction you could use the digits here too. And here's what it's going to look like. Sometimes three digit subtraction in your head is harder than you think it will be. 9 minus 3 is 6. 5 minus 5 is nothing. And 4 minus 1 is 3. So we have 306. And these are milliliters. There. Are your answers reasonable, and why? Well, in both cases, we have the our estimate was 310, and then our answer was 306. So that's pretty close to our estimate. And 610 and 612, those are pretty close. So our estimate. are close. So uh, my my answers are reasonable.
And the idea of this question is that you know, it's just a way of just sort of checking your math to make sure you didn't make any any mistakes in your addition or your subtraction. Because the, the estimates are so much easier to add and subtract, you're much less likely to make a mistake in the subtraction or the addition when you do when you work with uh, estimates. Because you, the reason to work with estimates is so you can have easier numbers to add and subtract. So it just tells you that you probably did your addition or subtraction right. Mr. Williams owns a gas station. He sells 367 liters of gas in the morning, 300 liters of gas in the afternoon, and 219 liters of gas in the evening. Estimate and then find the actual total amount of gas he sells in one day. So we have the 367, the 300 in the afternoon, and the 219. Let's just round these up to nearest 100. Between 300 and 400, this is going to be closer to 400. And this is already just 300. And the 219 is in between 200 and 300, but it's a lot closer to 200. So we've got 4, 3, and 2 to add. That's 900, right? Nine hundred liters of gas. About. All right. Estimate and find the actual. No, we are now. We have to find the actual, right? So that can be. We'll use the vertical method. Three hundred sixty-seven. 300 and 219 and we can add these all at once 7 and 0 and 9 is 16 so we have a 10 another 10 oops and I did that backwards put the 10 in here so we don't overlook it and then we have 6 and 1 and 1 and that's 8 tens and then our hundreds we have two six two threes that's 6 and 2 more is 886 386 liters of gas. Now it says estimate and then find the actual difference between the amount of gas Mr. Williams sells in the morning and the amount he sells in the evening. So the difference between the morning was 367 right and in the evening 219 so this is morning this is evening now the difference between difference between these two let me clean that up a little bit so we can actually read it there these are, these are liters. The difference between these two, it's not that big. It's, I mean, we're just looking at it. Uh, if we round to the nearest hundred, we're the, the difference we have, we're 300 here, 200 there, and we're looking at some tens. You know, the, the difference by hundreds is going to be pretty big. So our estimate's going to be, could be way off if we use hundreds. So when the difference between the two numbers is looks like it's going to be fairly close um, or less than a hundred or so. I mean, let's, let's make it closer. Let's round by tens. So we're going to estimate 370. And this is about 220. Right, we could just do the subtraction right here. Uh, 
That was pretty easy subtraction. So, the difference is about 150 liters. And then we got to figure out the actual amount. The actual amount is 367 minus 219. And we have to break up a 10 here. Five tens left, 17 ones. Subtract there. We have enough tens, so we don't have to unbundle 100. That's four tens and 100. 148, so we're, here we're much closer. If we'd estimated by hundreds, we could have been off by 50, which would be like you know, a third of the answer. So when the numbers are smaller, um, rounding by hundreds makes for a, a much bigger um, part of the answer than when the numbers are um, when the numbers are much larger. So when the numbers are like down here, like 200, 300, it's better to round by when you're talking about the difference between the two and you're not adding them, then uh, you, the difference is going to be it's going to be better to round by tens. So the actual difference. It's 148 liters. And the blue team runs a relay. This chart, all these people are part of the blue team. And if you don't know what a relay race is, Jen's going to run part of it, which is called a leg. And then she's going to hand off to Kristen, who's going to run her part of it for seven minutes. And then Lester runs his part for six minutes and then Evie finishes the race with eight minutes. So all together that's, they each run part of the same race one after the other. And so we add up these minutes to figure out how long it takes the whole team to run the to run the relay. And that's we're gonna add five plus seven plus six plus eight. And now there are no easy ways to make 10 here. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use the arrow way. 5 plus 7 gets us to 12. If you remember this, you don't have to use the arrow way. You can use almost any method you want. But you just have to show, if you're going to do it mentally, you got to show some way that shows your, you know, your mental process. So that told, now I see a 12. Ooh. That 8 would be easier to add here than the 6 because the 8 and the 2 would make a 10. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to add the 8 plus 8. Gets us to 20. And then I can add the 6. 26. It takes the team. Twenty-six minutes. It takes the team thirty-seven minutes to run the relay. The red team, the red team, thirty-seven minutes to run the relay. Estimate and then find the actual difference in time between the two teams. So the red team. Let's, these numbers are so small, it would be silly if we rounded to the nearest hundred, we'd end up with zero difference. So it, it doesn't make sense to round to hundreds here. We're going to round, these are smaller numbers, so we're going to round to the nearest 10. So let's say the 37 is about 40, and the 26 is about 30, and 40 minus 30 equals 10 minutes difference. And the actual time would be 37 minus the 26. And you could do this. You could have done this digit, you know, using the digits, you could do this in your head. 
pretty easily. 7 minus 6 is 1, and 3 minus 2 is 1. Uh, the actual difference. is 11 minutes. This is about. So we want to make sure we know which one is actual and which one is about. Number four, the lengths of three banners are shown to the right, A, B, and C. Estimate and then find the actual total length of banner A and banner C. So only banner A and banner C. So we're going to estimate first. Um, and since we're adding these together, we're going to get a pretty big number. They're already at three and four hundred or so. So we can we can round these up by hundreds. 437 is about 400. And 332 is about 300. And 300 plus 400 is 700. So the total is about 700 centimeters. And now let's just add. Uh, a and C, right? So it's 437 and 332. And if we add these, 7 and 2, that's 9 ones. These two threes, that's 6 tens. And then we have 7 hundreds. The actual total is 769 centimeters. Estimate and then find the actual difference in length between banner B and the combined length of banner A and banner C. So the, the combined length of banner A and banner C, we just found that. That's what this is right here. So we're going to find the difference between that and banner B. We have to model the problem with a tape diagram. So let's start with the tape diagram. So now we'll just, once we do that, we'll know, we'll see all the numbers we're working with. Now we want to find the actual difference in length. So we're going to use not the estimated 700, but the 769. So this is the, we'll call this AC, because it's A and C put together. And this is 769 centimeters. And then banner B is 457 centimeters. And we have to find the difference between these two. What is it? So if we're going to estimate this, we can have AC would be about 770. And B would be about 460, rounding to the nearest 10 for both of those. And if I subtracted those to find the difference, I have a difference of about 310 centimeters. And now we're going to find the actual difference, which is 769 minus 457. 9 minus 7, we have enough 1s. 9 1s is plenty to take away 7 with 2 left over. 6 10s, we can take away 5 10s from that and have 1 10 left over. And then 700s, we can take away 400s from that and have 300s left over. And we have an answer that's very close to our estimate. 
And it wasn't that much harder since we didn't have to unbundle any tens or hundreds. So the actual difference is 312 cm. And it's so close to our estimate, we know we didn't make any mistake in the subtraction. 